Hi there, my name's Ali and I'm a first year music student at the University of Nottingham. I've just finished my first year and I'm home for the summer so I thought I would share some of my wisdom um, that I've learned over this past year at university. So today I wanted to share with you uh, how I prepared for university and some things that I would do differently if I were to do it again. One thing that I did in advance which really, really helped Maybe because I'm a little bit of a control freak and I like to know exactly when everything happens and how it should happen, is looking up public transport. Um, before I went to Nottingham, before I moved away, I got myself a mango card, which you can use on the trams, a student mango card as well, because all tram journeys are only a pound and also it's the same on Indigo buses, only a pound to get wherever you want to go. Um, this is really, really useful because it means if you're a little bit lost and you don't know what you're doing, you've kind of got that security of, I've got this, I know I can get home with this, even if I don't have money on me. Something I found as well um, after results day, when everyone knew what university they were going to, is a lot of group chats started appearing. Um, there was one for my course, for music, which was really, really good, because music is quite a small course, so that was bearable. Um, but there were some group chats made on WhatsApp um, for Broadgate Park and I think this is really cool I think it's really cool that we can do that nowadays but I did find it a little bit overwhelming because there were literally hundreds of people on this group chat and I was freaking out a little bit but I decided to leave it um, to leave the group chat because actually I was gonna meet people when I got to uni it's absolutely fine if you're not plugged into the group chats or Facebook pages or you don't want to be don't worry about it because I wasn't part of the, well, I left the um, accommodation group chat, I made loads of friends. You're not going to miss out if you're not in that Facebook group chat just for a little bit of time, so don't panic. In terms of um, actually moving and taking all of your stuff to university, I would definitely say don't take as much as you think you need, especially when it comes to clothes and sort of bits and bobs for your room. I took, I didn't take loads of clothes but for instance I took some summer clothes that I wasn't going to need for a while um, and yeah just lots of extra things that I ended up bringing back home. Um, moving in can be a little bit stressful especially if you've got a small car like I did um, but it's okay if you're just sensible about it just think what you really really need. Um, still take some home comforts of course but Make, make life easier for yourself by not taking your entire wardrobe with you. And that's also useful because when you come and visit back home, it's a nice surprise to find those clothes that you'd forgotten about. And last but not least, I think this is probably the most important piece of uh, advice I'm gonna give. Stay positive and don't overthink. I am one of the worst people for overthinking and if you can try and not worry and overthink, everything will be so much better. You just need to relax and chill out because university is not as scary as you think it is. And even when it is scary, you will survive. <laughs> like, it's not a terrifying place. Um, so yeah, stay positive, um, be excited about uni and do as much as you can to prepare in advance. But at the end of the day, you can't fully prepare. Once you get there, you'll do what you need to do and you'll have a fantastic time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped you and I'll see you soon. Bye.